The escape system is an emergency evacuation unit based on the principle of abseiling. It's assembled specifically to suit tertiary escape requirements from offshore installations. The concept of personal descenders was mentioned specifically by Lord Cullen in his report into the Piper Alpha disaster in July 1988, when 167 platform-based staff lost their lives. The escape is of course intended to be used only when all conventional means of escape have been exhausted. You'll find them adjacent to life raft evacuation points or at other locations where it's been deemed that personnel may become trapped and need to escape to sea in an emergency. Each unit is certified and inspected every three years or if the seal on the unit is ever found to be broken. When you first collect a unit, remove the outer clear bag. Read and make sure you thoroughly understand the pictorial instructions present. Ensure the padlock security seal on the unit is intact. Then remove the seal by twisting or pulling the identity padlock seal. You should already be wearing your life jacket and, if applicable, abandonment or immersion suit. Remove the safety hook, descender and harness. Look for a suitable anchor point. If possible, find a secure point above head height to make it easier to operate the equipment. Then, either attach the double action safety hook directly to an anchorage eye bolt, or wrap the descent rope twice around the anchor point in the approved manner, and opening the double action safety hook, attach it back onto the descent rope. You may also wrap the wire handrail attachment strop around the anchor point. Attach the double action safety hook onto both connectors of the strop. If there is no point available above head height, use a substantial handrail. You should also check that there are no sharp or ragged edges below that may cause rope abrasion as you descend. Make sure the double action hook is secure. Gently depress the black control handle on the abseiling device and pull down to manoeuvre the triangular evacuation harness to a comfortable position. Step into the harness and pull it up your body as high as possible, ensuring each leg is through the appropriate opening. Where you find an elastic waist strap, fasten and adjust. Attach the containment bag to the D-ring on the evacuation harness. You may have to adjust the descender position so you can reach your descent point. Then lock off the descender by making a loop in the rope and passing it through the connector at the base of the control handle. Then loop over as shown. Use the gate provided or climb over the handrail or edge. Once over, take the lock off. Use either your thumb or palm to operate the black control handle and ensure your other hand is always kept firmly on the unweighted rope. Gradually lower yourself from the edge by gently depressing the black control handle with your thumb. Hold the free end of the rope no nearer than 18 inches away from the double stop descender, in other words in line with your hip. Slowly feed the rope through your hand and make a smooth, controlled descent. To stop descending at any point, let go of the black control handle while holding the unweighted rope. Lock off the device. Remember the handle alone is not the brake. Braking is done with the brake hand on the free end of the rope, so make sure you continue to hold the unweighted rope throughout. If you squeeze the black control handle when not holding the rope, it will activate the system and you will make a rapid uncontrolled descent. Squeezing the black control handle hard will also cause the descender to slow and stop. Should this occur, 
Release the control handle completely, ensuring that you still hold the free unweighted descent rope and then resume the descent. Just above sea level, lock off the descender. Unclip the containment bag with the unused rope in it and attach it to the descent rope above the descender and await rescue by the fast rescue craft. To release yourself, pull hard on the toggle. Where this is not possible due to fatigue or injury, lower yourself just into the water and natural buoyancy will aid an easier release. Remember, if there is no rescue vessel waiting to pick you up immediately, the device allows you to remain suspended out of the water until it arrives, or until it's absolutely necessary to release yourself. If descending to a life raft from the evacuation point, you will find inside the containment bag a short line with two carabiners on it. Clip one end through all three D-rings on your evacuation harness and the other to the painter line. Then lower yourself as before. Make sure you have no hair or loose clothing that could become trapped in the device. When you reach the water, lock off the descender, unclip the containment bag and attach it to the descent rope above the descender. Activate the quick release. You can then pull yourself along the painter line to the life raft. Let's go over the main points again. First, check the instructions and ensure that the seal isn't broken before removing the harness from its packaging. Attach the safety hook to a secure point, if possible, above your head. If not, find a substantial handrail. After stepping into the harness, attach the containment bag to the D-ring on the harness, minimise the slack in the system and lock off the descender. Climb over the side and gently lower yourself off depressing the black control handle and firmly holding the free end of the rope at least 18 inches away from the double stop descender. At sea level, lock off the descender, unclip the containment bag with the unused rope in it, attach it to the descent rope above the descender and use a quick release. By the end of this training session, you should understand the purpose, correct use and limitations of the escape evacuation descender system, where to find it and where best to use it, including, where appropriate, how to lower a casualty. Personnel travelling offshore will have their training registered under their personal profile within Vantage or other appropriate competency record. You will be required to attend refresher courses, however, as with all safety equipment training, any individual can ask for more training during the period of his or her valid competency. In fact, this is actively encouraged because when it comes to personal protective equipment, we all have a vested interest in its correct use, as it could save your life. You will not be qualified to train others. Staff at various locations will be nominated to undergo specialist training from the manufacturer to become competent instructors. They will be the only people authorised to perform training sessions. As previously stated, this system is only for use in an emergency if the conventional escape methods from offshore installations are unavailable. In the remote likelihood that such a situation does occur, the escape descender system is believed to be the best device available. Your safety is our priority.